Welcome back to The Corporate Sister TV. I'm Solange Lopes and I'm the founder of The Corporate Sister website and brand. In today's video, I'm discussing four tips to muster the confidence to change careers as working women and working moms. Changing careers is hard for just about anyone. Changing careers as a working woman and or mom is extra challenging considering all of the balls that we're already juggling in the air from being mothers to being caretakers to serving in our families and communities along with all of the other obligations and commitments we're engaged in on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of the most important obstacles we face when considering or undergoing career changes is the lack of confidence that overwhelms us when we consider everything that we already have going for one and also when we consider all of the possible barriers and and challenges that may come and oppose us through our career transition. This is why it is so important for us to work at mustering and developing the confidence we need to take advantage of career change opportunities when they present themselves. Here are four tips that may help. The first one is to be as realistic as possible when it comes to all of the changes involved in a career transition of any kind kind. Very often what we tend to consider first are all of the changes in in the work we do um, that come along with any career transition. So we're considering the change in work responsibilities, maybe the change in geographical locations or the change in logistics or even the change in work environments. However, we may tend to put all of the other changes that directly impact our day-to-day -day life on the back burner. These are changes to our financial situation, changes to our married life or to our partnered life, uh, changes to our relationship, changes to uh, even our health that may come with a complete change in careers. So by considering all of the ways that a change in careers can really impact us, in all of the different aspects of our life, not only uh, can we be more prepared to tackle the change in careers, but we can also muster and develop added confidence to face all of the obstacles and the barriers that may come our way. And also to rejoice at all of the good things that may also come our way as a result of this career change. Tip number two, is to use everything that we have and bring it to the table of our career change. Um, by using everything that we have, what I'm saying is considering all of the ad, uh, all of the advantages, all of the natural talents uh, and skills, uh, as well as all of the acquired experience that we bring to the table uh, when considering a career change or even undergoing a total um, career overhaul. Very often, especially as working women, we tend to wait until we have almost all of the qualifications, almost all of the credentials, almost all of the experience before we go um, for opportunity A or opportunity B or C. However, what we fail to consider is even when we don't have all of the required or necessary credentials or all of the best experience or expertise, there's, there's a lot that we bring um, to the table that we sometimes fail to consider. This is our practical experience. This is our acquired experience. These are all of the stories, um, all of the different skills we are natural at and all of the different skills we've acquired with time and experience that may not necessarily be on our resume, but that are part of all of the advantages we bring and all of the things that make us extra qualified for the new career, the new job, or the new uh, industry we're going for. So getting into the habit of considering everything we bring to the table and using everything uh, we have when considering a change in careers is not only crucial, but it can also make a significant difference in mustering the confidence we need to jump ship and go into the new, the, the new career uh, we're looking at. Tip number three is to think in terms of value instead of in terms of credentials. As I was mentioning, 
mentioning earlier, very often we think that we don't have enough credentials, enough qualifications, enough expertise um, to go through a total career change. However, what we fail to admit, in addition to everything that we bring to the table, is the value that we're bringing to this new career or this new job or this new industry. And this value is directly tied in to our unique experience, to our unique story. And that's really the value that makes us who we are and that makes us uniquely qualified to excel in a new career, in a new job or in a new industry. And last but not least, let's not forget to bring our passion to the table as well. Uh, a career change is a challenging process, a very rewarding one possibly, uh, but a very challenging one. So it's one that requires us to keep our level of commitment and our level of energy up as we're going through this process. And in order to keep our level of energy, our level of commitment up, we need passion. We need some Thing that goes beyond just the day-to-day -day commitment of you know going after your one task uh, or the other we need the passion we need that fire we need that fuel uh, in order to keep ourselves going when the going gets tough when we face challenges or obstacles to be able to keep pushing although what we're seeing is not exactly what we want to see so bringing our passion really helps us develop even more confidence to start or to continue a career change, especially as working women and moms. These are the four tips that I wanted to offer to your consideration as you may be considering or undergoing a career change. I'd be curious to see uh, and to hear about your experience of undergoing a career change and um, what you think is necessary for us as working women and moms to undergo this type of change successfully. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.